Alright? Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good shit. We ain't fought in shit, man. I think you wear this pants a lot better than mine. This shirt might be on the side of the mind too, man. Alright, damn. Y'all the same build anyway. You're right. Short as shit. Short as shit. Hey, you got a lot of time here tonight. Uh, beautiful singer. Beautiful singer. But the trip was Ann Hathaway over here doing a Beth and Clap Keep on Beat. Yeah, that was some good shit right there. I like that. You all right, though. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Hey, what's well, good, man? Y'all having a good time tonight? Yeah. Hey, well, the holiday seasons and uh, I'm going home tomorrow. I kind of don't want to, though, because uh, just realized my mama two faces. My mama two faces of this shit. Every time I bring a girl home, she talks shit about me and the girl when I leave. <laughs> I remember last year I brought her going home for Thanksgiving and uh, my mom was talking all kinds of shit. She was like, I, I don't know why my boy be bringing home these old ratchet ass hoes. You think you'd be able to recognize that thought by now. And then when it don't work out, the first thing she says is, I knew y'all wasn't going to work out. <laughs> that hoe over there wasn't about shit. I mean, she come over here and got the nerve to ask me, is this canned cranberry sauce or, or real cranberries? Bitch, of course it's canned. Then anybody got time to cook no turkey? Anybody got time to cook no turkey and turn around and smash some new cranberry? Bitch, get over that shit. They gonna ask me, is, is this gluten-free macaroni? Bitch, where you think you at? You better eat these macaronis. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? And you tell that little heifer, don't be coming up here with no Tupperware. Act like she family, like she gonna leave with a plate or something. Bitch, you better go with that bullshit. I mean, I learned a lot about families, well, relationships with my family. I learned what kind of liar not to be for my brother. You know, everybody got that family member that, you know, they stay lying about some shit, don't they? I mean, you give them a call, they just be, be lying to you. That's my brother. I gave my brother a call, like, hey, man, how you doing, man? Man, good, man, you got me another job. Oh, shit, man, what you doing? Man, I work for police. Do you now? What you do for the police, man? Yeah, man, they got me working uh, Special Victims Unit. Special Victims Unit, man. Who's your boss, man? Oh, I work for Stable and Vincent. <laughs> Nigga, that's long on the SPD. Stop lying, man. Damn, I always lying. That's good shit, though. I learned a lot about relationships with my family. My dad, though, my dad. He's the main reason I got relationship issues now. Seriously. The confusing thing was, growing up, I would watch him argue with my mom. And, and it was real confusing because he would threaten, insult, and compliment all at the same time. You know, most men, when they come home from work, first thing they want is a little bit of quiet, about 20 minutes worth, something cold out the fridge, and something hollering the table. He come home, he get this, look here, I asked you last night, do you want beans or rice, or hell, beans and rice? Bitch, don't be coming at me that bullshit, Georgia. Now look here, now I told your ass last night, I want how many grits potatoes, you don't listen with your fine ass. Looking like that. <laughs> Them out, I'm gonna beat your ass like them pips used to. I ain't got no time for that attitude tonight. Keep on running your mouth, I'm gonna take you out. To that brand new restaurant on the corner, 2930, girl, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, girl, I'll take you there. Leave your ass there and get rid of that damn Jerry Curl. It's 2014. I thought you said you liked my Jerry Curl. Bitches, back in the 89, get rid of that shit. <laughs> Learn a lot about relationships with my family. But see, I know if I need the truth, I'm talking about that truth serum, I can go to my sister. You know, she was a uh, but she is a poet, so I'm a monster good company. I'm a monster good company. So I can just roll up on my easy girl, what you think about her? You talking about that hoe over there? Hey, what's up with my family calling my girl thoughts? Look here. <laughs> this one right here. Look here. You need to leave that hoe alone, all right? You can take it. I saw that whole last week with that light-skinned nigga, Lavarius. Lavarius? Mm-hmm. The one with them green eyes. They say you're balling now. How so? Let's just say when I saw them at churches, she ordered a three-piece instead of a two-piece. What's your broke ass? <laughs> That's good shit though, man. That's good shit. <laughs> I know one thing about my family operate. Just one thing I didn't rehearse to put the mic on. <laughs> 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 oh, this motherfucker. You know, laugh through the use of shit. He's taller than me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know uh, one thing I learned watching the women in my family operate is uh, I realized I like older women. You know, they got their shit together. Shout out to the older women out here. Yeah. Hey! talking at 30 when you still trying to hold on to your 20s. Nah, 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 nah. I'm talking about 33 and up, you got your shit together. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I like. So I ain't got no time to be telling, teaching no young chick how to handle this thing. I need somebody that's ready right now. You know, young chick be asking more questions than the goddamn police. Well, why I gotta put this in my mouth? And, and why, why I look like that? And why I gotta take this plan B. I don't remember taking plan A. <laughs> Bitch, take this pill, take this pill. Some
you guys should be allowed to have babies and you want to take this damn pill. You know, hell, y'all, I mean, I think all the women, you know, shit, y'all, y'all established. You know, you got your own money, y'all living life, y'all doing things on your own. Hell, yeah, you know, pop for yourselves. That's beautiful. They know my young ass ain't got no money. All I got for an older chick is dick and bubble gum. <laughs> and I ran out of bubble gum before I came up in this bitch, so holla at me. That's all I got for you. I, you know, I, I, I like older women, man. You guys are beautiful, you know. Young chicks ain't messy. And I guess you gotta go through the mess to get to the, you know, the, the womanhood. I don't know if that's a word, but it's the truth, all right? Hell, I was down in Jacksonville messing around with these young thoughts, and mistake number one, it was thoughts, okay? I mean, I'm down in Jacksonville, and I guess the code amongst them was, if I was ugly, they were gonna cough, okay? Yeah, yeah that, that was the code. Let me tell y'all something, when I met these bitches, I thought these hoes had the flu. I mean, it was a <clears throat> but it was, I couldn't, I wasn't. <laughs> this nigga. <thing. laughs> but I mean, I wasn't mad at them, though. I, I mean, I wasn't mad at them. I, I watched these hoes get off the bus. This, this ugly nigga had a car, so I was good to go. I was good to go. You know, old women, y'all all right. You know, y'all ain't got no problem telling me how you want it. You know, I like that. Cause I ain't got no time for self-discovery with no young chick. I ain't got no time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Young woman be like, mm, that's right, lick here, baby. That's right. Mama good and ready now. <laughs> yeah, young chick be all, mm, 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 mm. Bitch, you done came already? I don't even know. What you mean? I don't know that, What's wrong with you? Older women are all right, though. Hell, I think older women and, and, and young chicks, they even break up differently. It's like, with younger girls, you know, they try, to, they try to go for your soul. They try to take it from you when you when you break up with them, you know? I had this one chick, she break up with me, and she all, ah, nigga, that's a little hand move they do. When they, <laughs> they pull the pieces of your soul from you, you know what I mean? Ah, nigga, you lame, you a little boy, you a little bitch. What you got to say for yourself? Like, I, I ain't little, but your dick is. <laughs> The only reason you wear Tim's is cause you short. Your butt abnormally big for a dude. I was smashing that nigga Lavarius anyway. And it's 2014 and your mama still got a cherry curl. Hey. hey girl, hey fellas, what she do? I mean, what does she do to send you over the edge? What does she do? She hang up in your damn face. Don't fool, don't let make me more mad than hanging up in my face. You a little bitch, what you got to say for yourself? Look here, I said I ain't click. Ooh, this bitch don't hang up in my face. Boy, she better be glad we ain't no elevators right now. Oh, damn, Charlie, you look like Where's Ray Rice when you need him? Yeah. That's inappropriate. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, girl, hey, hey, don't start now. I bend you over and drive you to Dallas. You gotta go with that bullshit. I can have uh, it. Uh, that's good stuff. Uh, hey, I like, I like the women, though. You know, all the women, they, you know, they got themselves together. They live in life, you know. I was dating this one uh, chick. She was 36 years old, and she had no, she was always telling me, you know, hey, Jonesy, baby, look, don't be afraid of the way you feel, okay? It's real love. You know the song. And I'd be like, damn, you, I don't know, huh? I can't say it, girl, that ain't my, I'll leave that to you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and she would always say, look, if I ever, if you ever think that I'm flying off the handle or whatever, tell me to shut up, just tell me to shut up. Now, fellas, you know that shit too good to be true. <laughs> and ladies, you know, you know we ain't got, come on now, you know we ain't reading it between the lines. Men ain't no good at that shit. So we on the phone having a conversation about all things we were talking about Ray Rice, okay? And we were talking about who was truly at fault. Now, I said, it was Mrs. Rice's fault. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. And, and looking at you guys' faces, you agree with her. So she gets on a soapbox and she's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't no man hitting no girl. If you hit a girl, you a bitch. Blah, blah, blah. Mag, mag, mag. And fellas, what do I do? I use that trump card. Shut up. I say just shut up. <laughs> it got a little quiet on the phone. I was like, oh shit. I'm gonna call myself Jones. Shut up on you that shit. Oh, I'm about to hang up in your face. Girl, don't you hang up in my click. Ooh, this bitch don't hang up in my face. 
But then I got mad and I was tripping, I was pissed. But then I remembered a couple of things. Number one, I'm young and I'm handsome. I'm taking a stand. You ain't gonna disrespect me like that. You ain't gonna hang up in my face. You know? Number two, always faithful, sometimes. You know, the only time I cheat is when I come up in here, you know what I'm saying? That's the only time I cheat, shit. And number three, hell, it's Thursday night, tomorrow's Friday, look here, man, I just got paid, it's about to get real. Sudden words, DJ, please. DJ! <laughs> Take technical difficulties. <laughs> You ain't got it? Alright, okay. Alright, alright, so press play on, alright, press, press pause real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna set you up again, okay? Alright, so needless to say, uh, when she hung the phone up in my face, I just realized, fuck that bitch, I'm gonna keep it moving. Look here, Friday comes along, I go out, I'm having a good time, alright, and uh, phone doesn't ring and it's cool. I ain't flustered, I'm having a good time. Saturday comes along, I ain't heard from my baby yet. Who tripping? Ain't nobody tripping, you know what I'm saying? Saturday now I'm having a good time. Ladies, you better watch out, okay? It's real, I'm about to come after you. Now usually Saturday, you know, my boys or somebody hit me up and text me or something. You know, wait, wait, what's up man? You wanna play basketball or something? Nah, nigga, you good, I don't play no basketball. So, seven o'clock, I pre-game the pre-game the That means I'm getting ready to roll out. Next thing you know, my phone goes off, okay? Phone goes off, ain't no need to check it. I know if my baby, she, you know, she devastated because I'm in about 24 hours. <laughs> that seems to be the trend, like, put the damn microwave, huh? Right away. All right, all right. So here you go, all right? Seven o'clock rolls around, get ready to roll out. My phone goes off. I know if my baby, she devastated because she ain't heard from me in about 24 hours. It don't matter, all right? I pick my phone up, I check, it is my baby. I'm gonna read this text message. I read the text message, I'm getting ready to roll out, it says, that's great, see you at eight, LOL smiley face. What the fuck is that about? She ain't about to go out with me. Oh, hell nah, that's cool. I ain't gonna let her ruin the night, all right? I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on, I'm keeping on, all right? So we're getting dressed, I'm ready to roll out. Time to go. I take my phone, I get another text message, next thing you know, I'm like, all right, probably all are correct, because my phone does that sometimes, so it ain't no big deal. All right, I'm gonna check, it's probably her apologizing. I look at it, it says, I remember how we used to do back in the day, LD. L-M-A-O, smiley face, smiley face, wink, exclamation point. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> now, how did they used to do it? Who the fuck is L-V? And why she's she having her ass off? I don't play that shit. I ain't gonna let her ruin my night. My night's ruined. I ain't having no damn <laughs> I'm checking my phone the whole night. I ain't get a call, text message, no nothing. Sunday rolls around, I'm laying in bed all by myself, sad. They ain't get no ass over the weekend. Sad. Nothing happened. <laughs> All right, I'm straight sad. You know, I'm teaching her a lesson, but I'm the one that's suffering from it. But it's okay, though. <laughs> I get out of bed, all right? I'm like, damn, I should go to church, but I don't. I can't afford it. So, <laughs> so what I, yeah. <laughs> all right, so what I do next is, what I do next is, I get up, all right? My phone will go off the whole day, and I'm like, what's going on? My phone is heavy. Sprint must be changing out the towels or some shit, you know what I mean? You know, you know what you do? You put the phone off and on to make sure it work. I call my voicemail. The whole day that went by. I'm teaching this whole lesson, but like I said, I'm the one to suffer for it. Next thing you know, my phone go off. I don't even look at it, I pick it up. Hello? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Well, look here, man, let me call me with that bullshit. I ain't got no time for that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I love you too, bro. All right. <laughs> you know, never who you want to be when you got some shit going on. So I almost gave up hope, okay? I almost gave up hope, but it's okay though. Next thing you know, my phone rings. You see, you never underestimate the smoothness of a woman. You never do it, all right? It's my baby. But I don't pick it up too fast. Oh, no, 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 no. gotta let it sweat. All right, I don't want to seem too desperate. No, you gotta let it sweat, you know? I don't let it ring too long, because if I let it ring too long, then, you know, she'll hang up. I got a call back, I lose the upper hand, all right? I'll pick it up, but I'm smooth with it. Mm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't going nowhere this weekend, baby. I was in the house all weekend. Yeah, you know, reading the Bible, you know how I do. <laughs> what, what's, what's that saying? What scriptures? Oh, uh, 
uh, uh, Le, Le, Le Vitra 66 and uh, <laughs>
Dr. Turner says, hey, man, I need you to pay a little lower than that. Doc, don't whisper to me. This is weird. <laughs> this, is this, is, this is new to me, Doc. Settle down. <laughs> so I bend, all, I bend over further, and I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm trying to change it, get my mind on something else. Doctor says, all right, here we go. So I hear the icons pop, the little scary noise, the, the, the glove pop. I hear it. Now the doctor has some big ass hands, and I was like, oh, I don't know, this, this is different. So I heard the first pop, but I'm being joking, I can't see nothing. Then I hear the second pop. I'm like, oh, hey, doc, hey, what's going on? Man, you got some big hands now, man. That's just coming out of my cold pack. Stop breaking the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Then I heard a third pop, and I was like, oh shit, this doctor got some huge hands. That thumb about the size of my head. <laughs> so I'm bent over, and I'm trying to breathe easy, relax my muscles, and the uh, doctor does his thing and gets in there. Okay, all right. So now, if the prostate was infected, it was going to be one or two things that were going to happen. I was going to be in excruciating pain once you tap the prostate. Or if you don't know anything about the prostate, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a very, very magical thing. It's a magical thing. Let me hold on now. So I'm just told me the doctor, you know, even uh, and he gets up there and he taps on it. Now I don't know if it's like, now I don't know if it's the day or not, but uh need to say I wasn't affected because I let it all out. And uh, Now, if I wasn't violated enough, if I wasn't violated enough, what happens next is the real doctor walks in and says, Hey, man, what the hell are you doing? Get that motherfucker out of here! Get him out of here, doctor! Don't call me like that. Hey, uh, hey, I'm in SF Jones, man. You guys have been great. You guys have been great. Look, just like a nigga. He can't let the staff give him his money. He had to grab his dollars before he got off the fucking stage. Y'all give it up one more time for SF Jones. Yeah. Nigga, I'm drunk as shit. I don't know about y'all, but I'm fucking...